Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and in this video we will see one, one interesting topic about Portainer. Again, guys, what is Portainer? We will see in detail in this particular video. To give one highlight, it's a lightweight management UI, you know, which helps you to manage your different Docker environments, right? So if you have your Docker in local, or if you have your Docker in a remote machine, or if you have Docker in Azure containers, it can use you a you know visualization, right? Normally we use our common prompt. Uh, to interact with the docker daemon right so it is not visually appealing if you have 100 docker containers or 200 docker containers it is difficult to manage right so so it gives you a clean ui visual ui uh, to manage your docker environments right so we we'll see about that that particular thing in detail and before that we have uh, you know i have updated the docker compose.yaml file after including the elastic search and kibana services as well we'll see about that and at the end uh, after that we'll see about what is portainer what is the command to kickstart your portainer again guys you don't have to install anything portainer is again available in the form of image right docker image you can just run a container to manage all other containers right so it's very very interesting that's what i told docker is really really cool you just need to enjoy and love it Right, so we'll also see the one of the important questions that normally we face, right? What is slash where slash run slash Docker file? So we'll Docker dot sock file, right? We'll see about that in detail, and we'll also see how we can manage the Docker uh, containers uh, with Portainer, right? So this is what going to be the agenda for today's topic. Without wasting much time, let's get back to the Eclipse workspace. Again, guys, if you notice, if you are watching the Selenium framework series from the beginning, you would have noticed that uh, we have these many services before. Okay, and we have used two different commands uh, to run our Elasticsearch and Kibana. What I have done, I have converted those commands in the form of, uh, you know, YAML services, right? So this is the Elasticsearch service using this particular image. Again, you can use 7.11.1 for a diff different repo. That's okay. Uh, registry and the container name is Elasticsearch, and I'm passing the environment uh, variable as discovery type a single node because this is for development purpose, and I'm exposing the port uh, as well. Right, so for Kibana again using the image, it depends on the elastic search because I want to wait. Uh, the Kibana needs to be, you know, needs to wait until the elastic search is up and running. So I'm using the depends on. I'm linking this Kibana service with this elastic search service, and the li uh, link name is elastic search, right? So, and the, I'm also exposing the port 5601, right? So if you want to check so whether it is working fine and you know you can just go to this particular folder location okay and then use docker hyphen compose up and guys, this is something that is pending from the previous session so i thought of covering this if you are not interested in this please uh you know forward a little bit of uh, seconds so that uh, you know you can directly go to the port in airport but if you find the video a little slow please change the playback settings to 1.5 or 2. now we're going to spin up everything okay docker hyphen compose up that's it, guys. Everything will be up and running in a few seconds. Okay, so let me open my, uh, you know, particular thing. Let's wait for everything to be up and running. So this is the particular thing. There was some error with my Selenium Hub. Okay, I think uh, there is a driver management external connectivity on in Selenium. I think as the log, as the log message is suggesting, I, I have already used this double four double four port. It's already been mapped to another container. So let me quickly stop all those things. Okay, let me check Docker PS hyphen A. Sorry guys, there is a typo. So what I have done, I have removed the you know Selenium standalone Chrome that was uh, occupying my uh, local host double four double four. So now everything should be up and running. So let's try Docker hyphen compose hyphen D. Okay, this. To run the you know locks in the background mode, right? So detached mode. Good. Uh, now everything should be up and running in few seconds for us. So it's starting the Selenium uh, uh, hub as well, Elastic Search. Uh, now once this is up and running, all these services also will be up and running. If you know every, everything is now started, so let's check one by one. Okay, this is the Elastic Search. Uh, maybe let's check the nine to double zero port. Okay, I think it's getting ready. Let's give it some time. Meanwhile, let's check the double four double four, the Selenium hub. I think it is ready. I think it should get attached to the nodes as well. Yeah, these things are now ready. Let's also see uh, 9200, the Elastic Search service. If you notice, the Elastic Search service is now up and running. I will also check whether the Kibana is up and running. So it may take a few seconds. Okay, you can also, in the meanwhile, check the locks. Okay, Docker locks and the Kibana. Right. So 
it'll help us to check the locks right so it may take a few seconds right so let's try to reload again and this time if you notice the kibana is now up and running so it is getting started for the first time it may take a couple of minutes for you that's completely all right right so so it's now spinning up the kibana container right so it is now ready so we have our docker compose that is absolutely working fine right so now let switch our focus back to the portainer and guys as i already told the portainer is available in the form of image so we just need to uh, you know spin up that particular container with the help of a simple command right so so let me copy paste the command so i don't want to waste much of time so let me also explain okay after copy pasting it our docker run right so hyphen d for the detach mode and hyphen v for the you know exposing the port 9000 to the 9000 of the container and i'm also mounting some volume that is our var slash run slash docker dot sock file right so this is the file that i'm trying to mount uh, to the same path in the container as well docker dot sock put and the image name is portainer and coming from the library portainer so this is a command that you need to run so when you press you know enter it, it will pull the image from the docker hub and it will run the whole container for you so let me also check the docker logs uh, maybe the container id is this okay that's it it's now up and running so let's uh, open our chrome and check whether it is up and running or not so this is a this is the local host 9000 port and now if you notice this port is getting started if you notice it's asking you to set up admin password so for now i am choosing a password of my choice uh, minimum eight characters you can choose yours absolutely fine so and then click on create user but now it give, gives you three options right so almost four options first one is if you have your docker up and running in your local uh, which means in your physical infra machines then you can use this option if it is you know it is running on some other different machine you can use this if it's if you want to connect to a portainer agent you can use this and if you want to connect to a azure microsoft azure containers then you can use this particular option you can give your azure name you know the azure credentials and all of the stuff in my case it's running on my local and then just click on connect if you notice it's giving me all the options right so if i click on this okay it is giving me how many stacks that's running how many images are totally present in my particular machine what is the uh, uh, space that it is occupying what is the number of containers that is uh, you know total uh, you know among them 14 are in running state and 22 are in stopped state so if i have to check this in a uh, you know cli mode then i have to use docker ps right so docker ps will only list me all the containers that are in running state so i have to manually go and count it and the, and the ui is not pretty neat right so here it is very very neat right so 14 running and all of them are you know you know it's really really clean right so you have a very good ui that gives you the public supports as well if you want to add any options like when it is getting created or what is the ownership you know you can also add them here right so this is pretty neat so i really like using the portainer i also suggest you to try using this if you have lot of containers that is up and running in your local infrastructure good so let's try to use this particular you know uh, you know maybe we can spin up our new containers if you want to check what are all the images that are available right you can build your own image all those things that's possible right so maybe uh, let's try to create a new container right so uh, if you want to add a new container you can use this particular option right so it, here you can use a name okay now i want to use a name like alpine because i am going to use a, run a alpine container okay and what is the registry suppose you have your own registry in your company you can give the uh, value here but for now i have only docker hub if you want to you know give your uh, company uh, docker hub registry then you can use this registry option and then you know set all the authentication and do and add a new registry so that it pops up there otherwise it won't show there okay by default it will only show the docker docker hub right so just use alpine as the name here and the registry is this and what is the image name right so what is the image that i want to run so maybe i can use the alpine image so alpine so it also pops you up with all the options that are available so it will it will pre populates with all the images that are present in your local in my case i want to spin up a container for alpine latest i don't want to pull the latest image i don't want to check the docker hub 
it is present in my local if you if you want to also try you know retrieve the latest version of that particular image then you can also enable this option right so again if it is exposing some port you know you, it if you want it to be randomly allocated to a different uh, you know a free host port you can enable this option maybe i can explain it later but for now uh, alpine does not expose you any ports so we will we'll just create a simple uh, uh, container now uh, and then if you want to enable the hyphen hyphen rm option that we normally use in our docker client you can use this particular thing again in my case okay i don't want this so let it be the okay and most importantly um, if you if you spin up your alpine image okay so first try to, try to do this with the help of uh, uh, you know the conventional way okay docker run and then we'll use an alpine image right so this is a command that we normally use right so by default the, you know if you run this particular command it will go to the stopped state because you need to you know uh, if you want to make it up and running you need to enable hyphen ta option right so so this this is this ensures you know that it will be in the running state so it now i enter into the alpine container so i can, I can use some commands like this okay it will absolutely work fine control p and q i came out and if i type docker ps it will it will tell me this particular alpine container is up and running so using the image and this is the container name right so now i can stop this okay docker stop and then use this particular thing this is the normal way right normal conventional way but we are going to do with the help of portainer right so good let me first stop this particular running container it is stopped now so let me use uh, rm command to remove the existing container so we're going to do the same thing with the help of portainer now right so let's get back to the portainer ui and alpine is the uh, you know container name and this is the image that i'm going to use everything is up correct so here i just want to pass a environment variable if you want to do pass any environment variable no in my case i just want to do an interactive thing minus i minus t right so if you want to enter i previously i used a date command after entering that you can also set it as a entry point so that it will by def, it will go there by default okay let's give the entry point as date okay and then just click on deploy the container that's it you have your pop up message that selling container successfully started and you know if you notice then container alpine is now started state you can also check the logs normally how we check the logs we use docker logs and the container name or id and here in our case you just need to click on this particular thing and it gives you, it gives you the log right so really really cool suppose i want to stop this particular container so what you can do okay you can go to this particular thing and select the one that you want to stop so maybe i want to filter the one alpine that is already in the stopped state okay Be because you know i have came out okay maybe you need to select this and then you can use remove option if you want to remove it right we use docker rm right so the same thing so now i also want to add one more container this time maybe i'll use um, a standalone chrome maybe i i'll say my chrome okay and the image name is selenium standalone chrome latest right so this exposes 4444 port in the container and i am trying to you know map it to some random port right so i don't want to pull the image it is avail already available there in my local so so i will enable this option so it will automatically allocate a local host to and then map it to the 4444 of the container right so if you want to do the mapping yourself you can use this option and if you want to aut do auto remove you can use this and you if you want to set some commands or entry points or if you want to change the working directory you can use all these things right so this is really really cool if you want to mount some volumes if you want to create a new network okay if you want to send some environment variables all these things are possible now but for now just i am using the deploy the container option so it should start me a docker container right so let me also go here and then check this okay now let's click on console maybe it's still up and running the last one it stopped yeah i think i okay it should have failed i think okay if you notice okay the container that i started is my chrome right so so it, it has now exposed a port 32769 but if i have done the normal mapping since this is already this port is already occupied okay it it wouldn't have worked so in our case it, 
fortunately we have done the random mapping so if i go to this particular port maybe i need to use local host here local host okay you notice this is my selenium hub which i spinned up using docker compose file and this is my uh, the standalone chrome which i you know spinned up using my um, uh, port in there good so this is really really cool first let me you know spin down all this uh, docker hyphen compose down okay let me spin down all those containers that i spinned up using docker compose that's 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 fine okay now let's me also stop this using uh, okay if you want to also check the logs you can do that as well so i go here i enable this okay uh, maybe i want to check the logs this is the logs if you want to you can also copy okay because if you have a plenty of logs copying it from a command line is really really difficult but this this helps you you can also wrap the lines you can auto refresh the logs you can fetch the logs in on basis of your time filters now you can do a lot of things you can grip use use some grip commands okay number of lines that you want to display a lot of lot of options available which are really hard if you use a uh, your command prompt so in this particular container if you want to check you know inspect this particular container okay everything is now you know available in the form of ui if you want to check the stats if you want to check the console if you want to attach yourself into the container all these options are now available for you so you can go and try it yourself now i want to stop this container just click on stop okay that's just a simple press right so i want to remove this container okay i also want to remove the non persistent volumes yes remove it that's it guys you you got everything removed within a few seconds right so this this is how cool it is to use uh, your uh, container again you can do a lot of things you can play around with your images if you want to remove some images you can do the same thing again there is an option to build a new image right so this is really cool so suppose i want to build my new image let me name it as a uh, um, uh, um, image and for now and using the colon data stack okay and i'm going to use you have an option to use your own uh, you know they have a default editor here you don't have to uh, create a new file and do all this stuff they have their own editor here so what i'm going to do from maybe i can create my own thing from alpine i just want to override the entry point as um, run date okay maybe i'll use entry point entry point date that's it so i i just want to uh, create a image from this particular docker commands right so if you are having some you know file that you want to upload you can do that if you are if you want to specify in url you can do that as well so just click on build the image this is a simple image that i am created so, so ready output is ready so if i go to the images now okay i have my own image so i can do the search here so move the image so this is now ready okay i can go and build my own container from this particular image add a new container using the image of uh, amu image and you can also name this container as amu and that's it i can deploy the container now so it will print a date if i go and check the uh, you know uh, logs it should have date in this right so this is as simple as that so i can also go here uh, and then uh, i can also stop the container remove the container i can do lot lot of these things right so everything is really really cool if you want to configure some volumes you want to create some volumes you can add a volume you can do all these things right so it's really really simple it also supports swarm modes okay so if you want to create some users okay if you want to create a new user with different permissions you can also do that as well and if you want to set some roles okay you can also do that and if you want to configure some endpoints or if you want to configure your company registry you can do that here okay add a registry and you can click whatever the registry that you want to add so this is really really cool guys i just given you a outline how we can use this portainer it's up to you now to go and explore about it i'll also i'll see you in another great video until then tata bye bye from amudan see you all in another great video tata bye bye